What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and of course you can tell by that title or the thumbnail something of that nature that we are doing another what if we built the best wide receiver in Madden. Now these aren't going to completely be my opinions per se but a lot of them I, I kind of do agree with the ratings. So of course we chose the Packers mainly because Rodgers is super fun to use. I mean other than like using the Chiefs which I guess maybe or you know the Buccaneers maybe with Tom Brady I don't know I also I'm gonna just be honest call me biased about it or not Devontae was the best wide receiver in the NFL last year so similar to uh what we did with the Browns where I felt like they had the best rushing attack I feel like the ba the Packers probably had the best passing attack and if, if you don't want to make that argument at least the best quarterback to wide receiver combo so you know, whatever, yell at me, sue me, don't, please don't sue me, <laughs> but if you guys are enjoying these uh, videos, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe, I don't know, suggest something for me in the future, of course, we'll end up doing one for quarterbacks, tight end, eh, I mean, I, like I said, I think I mentioned it, I think Kelsey and Kittle already exemplify the perfect tight end in general, you know, really solid blockers, really good, you know, speed, really good catching, and all that good stuff. But maybe defenders, you know, there's there's different styles of defenders that can be combinationized. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean here. But I, I think it's mainly QB running back wide receiver, right? So we'll definitely do QB at some point. But honestly, do you really need to? You just have Mahomes. He's already... <laughs> uh, but, of course, we made Mr. Devontae Hopkins. I think some of the other combos could have been like... Uh, you know, what is it, DeAndre Adams, which actually sounds pretty decent now. Like Tyreek Hopkins, Tyreek Adams... Uh, Devontae Hill, Dondre, I don't know. I, I think Devontae Hopkins sounds the coolest. Of course, uh, one of the first things we're going to reveal is we chose for pure size, quote-unquote power, Mr. Mike Evans, 6'5", 231. I would make the argument, though, that anything higher than 6'3", is almost a burden. Like, you know, now nowadays, like, well, I won't even say nowadays, just... A lot of the successful receivers in the league have always been in that six foot one, six foot two range, maybe six three. Um, but I, I, I guess for the height here, six five, two thirty one. For Madden, it's all about animations. I don't really know if you get them because you're tall, but I will say it feels safer when you're tall, right? Because like when you're tall and big, you usually you can box people out. Uh, of course, nothing else really needs to be noticed or noted. Apparently, he's not the number one wide receiver, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, but for the speed and acceleration and agility department, I mean, is there really an argument? It's, it's obviously Tyreek Hill. He's an absolute madman. Crazy stuff. Uh, for catching, we went with DeAndre Hopkins, who has 99 spec, 99 catch in traffic, and regular 99 catching. Uh, for this one, I'd actually maybe make an argument, at least for real life, that if my life was on the line and I had to throw a jump ball one-on-one -on -one to a player in the league and he had to catch it I I might choose Allen Robinson honestly I I don't I don't know if you guys think that's crazy I might I honestly legit think you give me a list I'm giving it to him like Julio would be up there uh DeAndre obviously Devon, DeAndre Hopkins would still be up there but Allen I've just seen Allen Robinson do it too often with a bad quarterback against insane coverage to not choose him but for Madden's sake and considering DeAndre Hopkins is also that guy you can make the argument for him as well uh we gave it to him you know so fair enough there uh for speed you could have made an argument for for rugs or something and you know there's probably an agility uh, argument for like Odell or I don't know but that's what I say uh like I said for size uh six foot five 231 and we gave him 73 truck 80 stiff arm that is you know some of the highest ratings in the game i know there's some other guys that have a little bit better truck i think godwin has better truck than him and maybe someone has better stiff arm but to compare it with the size that's what we did uh, pretty much all the traits as well and for run blocking surprisingly enough tyreek hill is one of the best run blockers in the game but you know, overall i don't really care too much about run blocking because we're not going to be run blocking here even though it is you know it's a pretty important trait as a wide receiver it's just you know when a team's deciding on who they want to pay at wide receiver. If they're going to be paying a guy 20 mil per year, you best believe run blocking isn't going to be like, oh, well, you know, we better give him an extra 5 mil because he's a good run blocker. You know, if if that's what the receiver is, sure. But you're not getting paid 20 mil plus per year as a run blocker, obviously. 
of course, jumping also goes to DeAndre. I think there's a couple other guys that are pretty good at jumping as well, obviously. Uh, and as far as release and route running goes, I literally just went off of Devontae Adams because he does have by far the best release in the league. Well, I wouldn't say by far, but he, he has the best release in the league, and you can make an argument that he probably does have the best medium and short route uh running in the league of course you could have made an argument for you know someone like adam thielen probably for release uh route running you know keenan allen there's a lot of really good players but i think as far as last year goes i, I think it's an uh an outstanding amount of people that would say that Devonte was probably the best in those departments and then for the final aspect you've probably already seen it though is juke move and spin move 98 juke 90 89 spin move uh, 96 change of direction, and then I don't think... Oh, no, it is there. 98 ball carrier vision goes to Mr. Odell. He's a very, very good run after the catch guy. Could have made an argument for him to be spec catch uh, as well. I don't know why people think that Odell has like, lost it or he's, he's, he's washed or anything. I think people just love to hate him, but there's on field, there's really not much of an argument there because uh, he's still as good as ever. All right, we got him on the inside on the first play. And on the first play, he's already off to the race. He's slipping free, and he's gone. No way. He's too good. He's too good already. And, yes, I can't. What the hell? I forgot. Uh, when I loaded up this game, I don't know if anyone else had this problem today, but uh, if you guys even play the game, uh, respect if you don't. Um, but... <laughs> The game literally uh, like acted as if I never played the game before. I hope that's not like the the usual thing that happens because that happens to me like almost every year around this time is the game does that and then every time I have to load up I have to go through the game as if it like I've never played. It's so annoying. Also, I've never used the Packers playbook before. I don't think so. This would be something slant route, filthy, and is he gone again? Is he gone again? He's not. Really good play to the 44, though. 111 yards on two plays. Why is Hopkins like he's playing? Uh, is he playing the slot receiver role here? I mean, it doesn't really matter. But I suppose it's going to be a little bit harder to get him downfield if he's not, like, the main guy on on those routes. We'll, we'll try every route. Why not? Right? Let's, we'll try this. Need MVS going to the end zone, though. Uh-oh. Catch it. Ah, popped up. Yeah, I figured he ain't gonna catch everything. I get it. He's in the zone. Or whoever's in the zone. Did uh did his first catch, by the way, what does it make? 20 plus yard catches? Did we not make one already? Oh my, what an animation that would have been. Oh, that's a GG, dude. I don't even know who's on him, but like I I don't even have to worry about who's on him. There's no... Oh, maybe I do. What the hell? There's no way. What difficulty are we on? All legendary? Gotta score here, right? You gotta score here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. This playbook's actually pretty nice. It's kind of fun, too. They didn't fall for it. Oh, my. There's no way he gets to that ball, right? Like, Rodgers underthrew the hell out of that. It was basically like a handoff. Like that's how low it was. And that was that was that was a bad throw. Again. It's always the damn easy throws with this guy, I tell you. Hit the craziest throws in the world. And as soon as, as soon as someone asks Rogers to throw the easiest little short you pass, he's like, huh? You want me to put some flair on that for no reason at all? You want me to fade away falling back for a three yard play? <laughs> Oh, that, okay. Yeah, I keep forgetting how good he is that I'm just like, oh, clearly on that play, I'm going to have to. Let's try this again. Oh, no. Stay stay over there. Uh, I think that I have to, like, possession there, but I can actually rack catch that and just go for it. So in real life, that play works. Here, it only works because of how OP he is. Like, that's Keanu Neal, who's not that great in coverage, absolutely locking him up. For like 30 yards. Ooh, this could be nice. I want to get some blocks. I want to see it. But it is a double. Oh, it's not a double. I mean, that's an okay route. But once again, kind of covered by a pretty bad corner, right? Not really open. Yeah, he's not going to get there. Oh, is that going to count? Watch. Watch this game. There's no way that'll count. Oh, what a trash game. Because I hit his button... 
as I was falling, they're going to say that it was on him. So bad. Oh, that's touchdown. Wow, that's... I, I routes, uh, Route tech is kind of iffy, isn't it? Like, in theory, every time the, the last, like, portion of the route, like, is achieved, like, he should be flaring up there and just smoking. There you go. Let's see if we can do something with the Odell part of us. Ah, as a waste. What is this route? It seems like it's just a bait to get Devontae open, who's already, like, open off the line. Kinda. They have three people on him. What a play. Remember when I was talking about Rodgers, like, falling back? <laughs> uh, what a throw. That was actually sick. You have an offense with Devontae Adams on it, and you're throwing three people at hop. I mean, you take that every day of the week, right? Oh, I thought he's going to catch that. Hey, Rodgers has Gambler, doesn't he? Like, that's not that open. Like, you know, I mean, I, I, I assume that we're on all Madden here, but... It's not that open. So we have, like, the little medium style. I mean, that's... Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's it's kind of one-on-one, right? It, like, kind of. It makes no sense when it's, like, good for a Green Bay Packers. Like, Green Bay Packers what? And those, man, I'm telling you, curl routes suck. Well, he's not even, like, covered. He's, he's just open. Trying to free up the play for him to be one-on-one -on -one as much as possible. That's just, he's too fast. Like, the zone coverage is really just a, a sneaky little man coverage. You know, I love my inside streaks. This should be a burn. Oh, my. Who did he do that to? Was that uh, Ricardo? Who I don't believe he's on their team anymore in real life. I mean, there's literally a whole damn squad on him. Oh, and there goes his ability again. Uh, sad. Let's test that out, that route right there. Let's, let's test it. That's a really good throw and catch. That's just a beautiful route. We're going to just test the straight up streak. Pure speed. And he outruns Terrell down to the six. I mean, the speed, the height doesn't matter as much. So, like... This is basically what it's just like playing with the uh, the Chiefs roster, honestly. And that that's apparently a high pass. And that's a perfect dime. To be fair, Dante was just as open. But obviously, he was running from the inside, so he's obviously going to get there quicker. Oh, they give us 12 seconds to work with. I mean, I'm just going to throw this thing up. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Oh, it's not even a throw up. Well, that's kind of weird to say it like that. He just burned him off the line. It's too OP. What is this route? Ah! Dead. I'm going to hurry up to the line again and try to run that again and hope they don't come with the exact same blitz. It wasn't the exact same one, but whatever that route is that they have him running is just awful. And, ooh, good tip away there. We got crossers. We're going to drag Devontae away, though, and see. That's pretty damn good. It's honestly a lot of this is just the speed, honestly. I mean, he burned him enough that it's kind of one-on-one. Eh, let's try the quick RPO. Oh, my. No shot. Oh, I thought he was going to go. So fast. Gunslinger's nice, too. This play is the worst play in history. This is the worst play in history. I would be willing to... I'm an audible. I Now, nah, you know what? I'm going to be willing to bet that I will get absolutely destroyed on this. Oh. It's still the worst play ever, but, like, regardless, it actually... We actually got the block. I will say, though, they did pull off the blitz. This is the safety. They actually have this covered pretty well. That's a dime. I think Devontae just took that play away. It's not open. Oh! That's how we feel today. Well, look at that. I mean, he is up there. And I can't even say that, what's his name, Terrell has even played really that badly. <laughs> he's just, you know, he's just 
got the unluckiest matchup of all time. That defender kind of won. Oh my god. I don't even care about the route. Oh my. Imagine being able to use Mahomes or Rodgers in, in a CF, CFM. Obviously, Rodgers didn't last that long because of the way regression's built, but... Oh my. Look at, like... How do you defend that? Can't lose your ability here, at least. Oh, his spin move was so dead, or the juke move was so deadly that it actually broke his ankles before the spin and it actually hurt us. Really? He's on the inside on this play? Of all the things to be? They're also just, like, not going to cover him. And that's pass interference. The real question is, if I accept this penalty, will I still lose my in the zone? Which would just be another... One of many knocks on EA. Oh, they didn't. Wow. Because you got to remember, getting uh, double me in a game of Madden, it's, it's not that easy. And that's just that's just filth. And he's so fast that it was actually, like, really hard for him to, like, not overrun that. They will double him no matter what on this, no matter how good he runs this route. Well, maybe not. And another pass interference. <laughs> Terrell's just like... I can't be one-handed jump balled if I just kill the guy. And the worst part is I have to accept it, because otherwise, then I will lose the ability. That's a little bit of a tough one. Drops that. They just say he drops it with double me against a bad defender. Actually, I don't know if it, it might have been Keanu, who's not once again. Ah! You know, the action just isn't good, okay? Well, that's all we're going to say. Oh, we're going to go back to this crap. We're going to see if we can get enough blocks to actually see the route finish. It's only a four, man. Wow, it works. I would never go to that play in a regular game because you're not going to have a six foot five best route running in god tier speed player that's going to be able to do that. I've never, like, watched this route. Is it is it good? Like, he's really fast, right? But, like, I can't tell if that's good. I don't think it's good. Maybe if they're pressing... Hop on the slant. They've got a lot of people on him, though. Oh, look at him. St oh, look at him go. Didn't really have too many juke plays like that, right? And uh, there's, uh, there's some stats coming up today. I mean, it is one-on-one, -on -one, right? It is one-on-one, -on -one, right? What even happened? I just want to know what happened. There's not much I want to know, but what happened is one of the things I would like to know. Oh, look at that. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, maybe not. No! Oh. The Falcons are actually really undersized on defense. Like, their, their corners and DBs are, like, just in general, their DBs anyways, very rough. Very rough. Falcon fans are like, yeah, we, we freaking know that. That's, that's the point. That's us. That's what we like. Oh, I don't think that right foot's down, though. I don't think that right foot's down. I would be willing to bet that that right foot is is the opposite of down. Although it gave me a chance to sim there. Yeah, not even close. Why, 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 why can't I sim? What? It's one way to do it, I guess. It is. It is Green Bay after all, my right boys. <laughs> oh, man. Oh man, I didn't even get a chance. Oh, not bad, not bad. Yeah, the outside guys don't really get... I mean, they get some fun routes, but... He burns so hard. Oh my, that is a terrible throw by Rodgers. You would have thought that was Titanian. That's what I would say, at least. <laughs> I would be like, oh yeah, well, I threw it to Titanian. He just didn't, he never turned. And that throw is not great either. That's <laughs> uh, not great either. I imagine a lot of you would be kind of mad if we don't get to 100, right? Which is why I really want to not get to 100 now. <laughs> Play action look. Anytime the tight end runs like that, you always assume that you're not... What a throw. That is just filthy. So, like, should you be on the run with Rodgers? Oh, there's no chance. Game's over. I wouldn't say lackluster, but, you know, 
Would have been nice to have like a one, like us having the ball last. I think we uh, showcased everything pretty well outside of trucking. We got a lot of stiff arms. Uh, didn't really try to truck too much because there wasn't very many players in front of us for the majority of that game. Let's take a look at some of those uh, DeAndre. Uh, oh, I call them DeAndre. Devante uh, highlights or Hopkin highlights. Uh, second quarter went off. Third quarter, uh, you know, obviously as the game goes on, the uh, quote-unquote technology the AIs are supposed to key in a little more, which we did see there were plays that he was, you know, triple covered. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the double hurdle. We should have tried a hurdle, I suppose, but it probably wouldn't have mattered. Is it uh, when we get that second hurdle animation, is that holding Y or is that just like the animation you get if you double hurdle? Because like, that's the animation you need if you want any chance to hurdle in Madden. You're not going to hurdle with the straight up, you know, like little, like, Two foot hurdle. Like, well, what's the chances of that? Only way that one is effective is if, uh, you know, someone's on the ground, I guess. But, like, let's be honest, who's going to manually do that? Nobody. Uh, of course, a bit of yards, you know, a bit, a bit of success. A full, um, you know, wide receiver milestone in one game. You know, nothing crazy. <laughs> 1,023. So, a guy of his caliber, he'd say. Let's say we take off 900 yards and 13 touchdowns. 900 with 13. Seahawks versus Packers in the playoffs. You know, kind of a classic matchup. Statistics. Receiving. Take away 900. It's 12, 1,300 yards. Tw oh, Jesus. 1,200 yard season with uh, 13 touchdowns. So a really good season. Just not that spectacular. But obviously with. Our assistant says, by the way, how much does that even break the NFL record by? It can't be that much. Calvin's a freak, man. He's just so good. Like, barely beat the touchdown record as well. Absolutely insane. Some crazy stuff. MVP goes to Rodgers. And was Hopkins not even on the list? Hey, just like real life, that would have happened as well. <laughs> I wonder who the, uh, wait, Offensive Player of the Year. Number six. A never heard of season before is number six. Oh, my load. Hopkins at number one. Jeez. Well, let's uh, see if they can do it. They win against the Seahawks. Now they go up against the Saints. And they lose. Losers. You're a bunch of losers. The Bears are in the... I'm telling you, Allen Robinson. <laughs> Bears do win, actually, too. What in the world? This is the weirdest sim I've ever seen. Let's actually take a look at how Hopkins played in the postseason against the Seahawks. We have ourselves a pretty mild game there. And then in this one, we see uh, another very mild game. So definitely didn't step up to the plate. Of course, Sim said Hopkins ain't that great. Userine, we said he's the craziest player of all time. <laughs> but that is going to be the what if we created the greatest wide receiver ever. I don't know what the hell the titles are. You get it. You know, you put them all together and what do you get? You know, some sort of deformed mutant, of course, but still. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, PK Plays, and then twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care for streams, which there will most likely be one tonight at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!